Hi. My name's Eddie. So, um, actually, I brought my own alcohol because I was a little nervous when they, when Ohashi and Dahlia asked me to make this speech. So, I want to thank number one the parents, Ohashi and Dahlia's parents. You have raised some of the best human beings I have ever met in my life, and I'm truly. Truly blessed. Thank you. So, salut. I heard the dad's from Jalisco, La Huerta. I'm from Jalisco. Yeah, born. I wasn't raised, but born. <laughs> so, salut. That's why we're light skinned. Um, but to Dahlia and Ohashi, I just want to say that um, I've known them for, for, many years and we can all say we're here because of me. <laughs> You're welcome. I, <laughs> I introduced them. I, uh, they told me about their date and first date to last date and it's been truly been a blessing to see I would have never thought that, wow, two and a half years later, I'm at a wedding saying a speech about these two getting married and it is unbelievably humbling and I'm truly blessed to be here. So um, thank you, thank you. Salud, thank you. And uh, the, the tears was mainly for me because I'm nervous, so. Salute, thank you. I'm not the most social person, um, but I have had the pleasure of knowing John. I'm married to his sister. And, uh, oh, man. Honestly, didn't think that I would become this close to someone else. I just kind of, like I said, I'm not the most social person. Um, but... Uh, we lived together for a while and uh, spent just countless hours talking about life. And uh, he's probably the most, besides my pastor, who's 70-something, uh, he's the most humble person that I've ever met uh, in my life. And I think that was the thing that kind of drew me so close to him. Um, and so after his first date, we, I mean, we spent a lot of time talking about Dahlia. And uh, he's like, I, th I think this is the one. And. Um, when he got the ring, we spent a lot of time with that, and soon after, we got to know Dahlia, and uh, she's actually changed my life for the better uh, in so many ways. Uh, I actually never liked cats, and I still don't really like, <laughs> yeah, I still don't really like cats too much, but I actually have taken a little bit of a liking to them every time I see them uh, now, thinking about her, uh, and uh plastic bottles that she's always got on us at the house uh, about those and um, I can always count on someone to eat some Oreos with me. Uh, I got to talk her into it sometimes but she's always down. Um, but I uh, yeah I've just been through quite a bit with these guys just sitting and talking and like I said talking about life and God and that's probably been the thing that's been most interesting to me is to see both of them and their growth in, in the Lord. Uh, and I, I just think that they're perfect for each other. Uh, I think that a lot of the times they would, you know, people will say that they're getting ready to embark on something that's really difficult and supposed to be hard, but I think there are two people that I can say that um, if they put each other first, I think it will be the easiest thing that they've ever done, as it should be, and as I think it will. So uh, I love them a lot. and. Uh, just thank you for having me, and uh, my life and Christy's life and Mama's life are blessed to have you guys in it, so thank you. Love you guys, man. Uh, hi, I'm Dahlia's mom, I'm Kathy. 
Hello, I'm Hakobo. Cool. <laughs> so I wrote my speech in my head at like 3 a.m. a couple nights ago, and I was sharing with my table. I didn't have the intelligence or wherewithal to write it down right then and there. It was really good. It was good. So I'll try to piece it together. I'll try to remember what it was. But um, it's mostly for you, John. So I have prayed for Dahlia's husband since she was born. Even before I was saved, which Dahlia has been credited for, um, I prayed for her husband when her first sentence was, I do it myself. <laughs> And I prayed for her husband when she would dig up grass and mush it into some milky substance thinking that uh, she could be a cow. Or <laughs> I don't know what she was doing, but when she was a little tomboy in elementary school, I prayed for the man that would marry that girl. I prayed for her husband when the first boy made her cry and broke her heart. Um, I prayed for her in all the ups and downs and all the uh, hard times that she and I went through as mom and daughter. I prayed for her husband first because um, I knew that you would stand in that gap for me, that you would do what I couldn't. And I think that God answered my prayers in a big way. I'm really happy to have you as my son-in-law. Um, I'm blessed to watch you guys grow. You guys have taught me a lot about who I am as a wife and who I am as a mother and who I get to be as a, a, a mother to you, John, and a grandma later or whatever it turns out to be. You guys have taught me to be more open, um, to laugh a little bit more, to be a little bit more romantic than I naturally am. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> and to maybe write things down when I think of really good stuff at 3 a.m. So there was probably a whole lot more to that, but I've been praying for you for a long time, John, and I'm gonna keep praying for you for every day that I'm still on this earth. So I'm glad to have you. Welcome to the family. I'm excited to do family with you now. Cheers. So, um, like most people, when we start thinking about speeches, you start off with this real, this good formula. Thanks. Thank you. But I think it's better just to speak from my heart. Um, Dahlia is um, and has been uh, one of the joys in my life, the greatest joys. And uh, she was named after the one thing that has always brought me uh, joy and pleasure and brought beauty into this world, a dahlia flower. Um, and so before she was born, I knew her name. And um, she's always been my joy. Um, and John, I see that you share the same love and affection toward her. So I love you for that. And. Uh, I knew when John, when I first met John, I knew that it was um, that it was going to be a special treat to get to know this young man because his his please and thank yous and yes sirs and no sirs are sincere. They're from the heart. Um, there's young men who are uh, who learn to mind their manners and be courteous and respectful, but when you hear that from John, it's from the core. Uh, and so when I met him and I spent some time with him, I knew that he was a real deal and that should this moment come that I'd be more than happy. Um, and here we are. <clears throat> but um, um, when John asked me out to lunch and he beat around the bush about it, <clears throat> I kind of saw the handwriting on the wall, and uh, but I was giddy. I was like, I was like a girl being asked to the prom. I was like, "Oh my gosh, we're going out to lunch!" I was, as I said, John's an awesome dude, and he's he's to the core. He's sincere, and um, yeah, we went out to lunch, and uh, I picked a place deliberately close to my office, and 
he came by and he was beating around the bush and I was like, so John, what are we here to talk about? <laughs> Why are we here? I, I know you like company, but this is not just pleasure. Um, and when he asked me uh, for my daughter's hand in marriage, I, I knew that the prayers that um, Kathy had been praying and the prayers that I'd been praying for, uh, for my daughter when, when, since she was young, that they were coming true. And um, like Kathy, I am overwhelmed with pride and joy that you should have my daughter. Um, yeah, so, you know, the first commandment that comes with a promise is to honor your mother and father. And God promises that things will go well for you. And I know that these two are well on their way because the way that Dahlia has honored us throughout the years, even though we had some rough patches during the teenage years, but that's normal. Um, I knew that she was going to be protected at all times and that she would have my unconditional love. And John as well, the way he focuses on family and is committed to his family um, makes me proud to say that I'm part of the Ohashi family. So thank you guys for doing an amazing job raising up a great young man. Thank you. Um, so with that being said, welcome to the family. and. We love you, and we can't wait to see what God has in store for you. I know it's going to be great, and so cheers. Thank okay, thank you, thank you. Whew, that's a lot. It's a lot to take in right now. It's like my fourth time crying in a while. All right. Well, thank you all for being here. I'm going to get to the point, sticking to the script. I'm not going to meander off. <laughs> That's a word. All right. Well, thank you all for being here tonight to celebrate with Dahlia and I. We are so grateful for each and every one of you, and we love you all. The year leading up to this day has been transformative for us, and the unique support and time invested from all of you is such a blessing. Some of you we haven't known very long, and others of you held us as babies or played sports with us in grade school. But all of you have contributed to our growth. We've learned to listen better, to be patient with each other, to really invest our energy in choosing to love each other. And most importantly, we've learned to forgive. We are not perfect. We will make mistakes, but how you respond to them shows the character. Our hope in you all being here is that you will continue to be a part of our journey and that you will challenge us to be better and forgive us when we slip up. Thank you all for being here. Um, I really hope you're enjoying your night and I hope that you continue to enjoy the rest of the night. Um, I just wanted to share a random Bible verse that um, just like popped up on my phone yesterday when I was like really overwhelmed with a lot of people were both kind of introverted and so I was like oh there's so many people you know trying to focus on us but um Hebrews 12 1 says therefore since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses let us lay it aside every weight and sin which clings so closely and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us and I just thought that was really perfect because we're so thankful to have such a beautiful cloud of people um, to share this burden um, or to share our burdens. This is not a burden. <laughs> um, and to just lift us up and keep us focused and keep our eyes on what's really important. And we love you guys and thank you all for coming. So cheers to you all. Thank you.